One of the most important aspects of job site productivity is the safe and efficient movement of material. Because of the mobility of rough terrain telescopic handlers and their lifting capacity and lifting heights, operators must be properly trained to ensure safety. In the U.S., OSHA regulations require that forklift operators in the construction, shipyard, and cargo handling industries, and in general industry, be trained and evaluated and judged to be competent before being permitted to operate a forklift. This video is intended to inform new telescopic handler operators and remind experienced operators of the most important aspects of operating safely. Safety standards around the world use this safety alert symbol to highlight safety concerns. This symbol will be used in this video for the same purpose, along with two signal words to emphasize the seriousness of certain hazards. Danger denotes a very hazardous situation or condition with a high probability of death or serious injury if proper precautions are not taken. Warning denotes a hazardous situation or condition that may result in death or serious injury if proper precautions are not taken. Watch for this symbol. It will also be seen on warning decals on machines and in one of the most important documents for safe operation of a telescopic handler, the Operator's Manual. The Operator's Manual is an essential part of the machine. If it's missing, contact your dealer or the manufacturer to obtain a replacement. Safety is every operator's responsibility. Taking charge of safety means working with the right attitude, proper personal protective equipment, and with a machine properly prepared for the job. Always read the operator's manual before operating any piece of equipment. Telescopic handlers should be inspected daily before being used. Users should verify that a warning tag has not been placed on the unit by a previous operator. Load charts and safety decals are in place and legible. No safety switches or safety devices have been bypassed. There are no loose components, cracked welds, or fluid leaks. That the machine, including the forks, has not been modified. The condition of the tires is good, which is critical for safe operation. Look for cracks and cuts. Refer to the operator's manual for proper inflation pressures. If the tires require ballast, be sure they are filled to the proper level. A daily inspection is essential to ensure safe operation. Never check for hydraulic leaks with your hands. Pressurized hydraulic fluid can penetrate the skin and cause serious injury. Instead, use a piece of cardboard when checking for leaks. Check for proper fluid levels prior to operation. To avoid fires, don't fill the fuel tank with the engine running, near an open flame, or when smoking. Know where fire extinguishers are kept on the worksite. Walk around the worksite to see the conditions that may be encountered while moving material. Most important, check for overhead wires and their height compared to the machine's lift height and the load's height. Contact with electric power lines is extremely dangerous and will very likely result in serious injury or death. Excavations, grade changes, underground culverts, loose backfill, and fuel supplies stored on site all need to be identified and avoided. Don't take chances. Your well-being and your co-workers are at stake. Handholds and steps are provided for safe access. Always maintain a three-point contact when climbing on and off the machine. 
for safe operation, wearing the seat belt is very important when operating a rough terrain machine. Adjust the seat and seat belt for comfort before starting the engine. Establish a safe routine to follow when starting the machine. Be sure that the transmission lever and other control levers are in neutral. The parking brake is applied. The fork carriage is resting on the ground. The mirrors are properly adjusted. And no one is standing between the wheels and the frame or in front of or behind the machine. Check completely around the machine. If the batteries are low and cannot start the engine, consult the operator's manual for the recommended jump starting procedure. Most machines cannot be started by pushing or towing, and batteries can explode, which is why it's important to consult the operator's manual. Run through the machine's functions to verify proper operation before moving the telescopic handler. Check the machine's steering functions. Start slowly and test the brakes and steering. Operate the machine carefully and smoothly without jerky movements, which could cause the load to shift or fall off. Scan the travel path for people, machines, and hazards. Keep coworkers away from the load when lifting. Never allow riders. They could fall off or be injured by moving parts of the machine. Surface conditions, operating on inclines and tire pressures can also affect stability, along with dynamic forces such as acceleration, braking, and turning. Stay to the right on construction roads. In congested areas, the operator should increase scanning for potential hazards. Be aware that an unloaded telescopic handler traveling on the work site will tip over to the side easier than a loaded machine with its load being carried in the lowered position. This is because the effect of the load is to lower the combined center of gravity of the machine and its load. Never drive a telescopic handler with the boom raised. Transport the load as low as possible and use the carriage tilt back function to retain the load better and keep it from sliding off. Travel slowly with the boom fully retracted and be ready to make adjustments with the frame leveling on side slopes. Avoid sloping ground if possible and do not drive on excessively steep slopes. When ascending or descending slopes, approach the hill straight on and keep the load facing up the slope. When unloaded, travel with the forks or attachment downhill. When descending, use a low gear to permit engine compression to assist the brakes in controlling machine speed. If it's necessary to drive on a slope, keep the load low and proceed carefully. Avoid turning on slopes if possible, but if necessary, make wide and slow turns. On side slopes, frame leveling is intended to be used to stabilize a telescopic handler and its load. Always level the frame before lifting. Never use the frame leveling function when the boom is raised because this could cause the machine to tip over. If you feel the machine tipping, the safest reaction is to stay in the seat. Keep the seat belt fastened. Brace yourself and lean away from the fall. Do not attempt to jump. 
Operators must know how to read and use the telescopic handler's load charts located in the cab. These charts show the machine's capacity at different heights and distances in front of the machine. The lifting ability of a telescopic handler is based on the principle of two weights balanced on opposite sides of a pivot point. Factors affecting this balance are the weight of the machine, the weight of the load to be lifted, and the centers of gravity of the machine and the load. Because a telescopic handler has components that move, its center of gravity can move, such as when the boom is raised and lowered and extended and retracted. When picking up loads, insert the forks all the way. Inspect the load for stability and secure it prior to lifting. With mixed loads, place the heavier items near the fork carriage. Lift capacities are usually established using a 24-inch load center. So if the load is centered more than 24 inches from the backrest, then the actual capacity of the machine is less than what is shown on the load chart. On machines equipped with stabilizers or outriggers, be sure to use the proper load chart, which corresponds with the stabilizers being in use or not. Make sure that the ground can support the weight of the telescopic handler and load, and that any structure the load will be landed on can support the load safely. Before lifting, shift the transmission into neutral and apply the parking brake and level the frame. Place the load by alternately extending and raising and lowering the boom. Feather the controls. Avoid moving the levers to their full limits, which can result in rapid and jerky movements and instability. Reverse the procedure to withdraw the forks. Lower the boom before backing away. Special situations require extra caution. For example, when entering a building, overhead and turning clearance must be checked, and the operator must allow time for his eyes to adjust to the different lighting. Some telescopic handlers are approved for use as personnel lifts. This can be determined by looking in the machine's operator's manual and decals. Other machines are available with controls that are remote from the operator's compartment. But all these machines must be operated only with strict adherence to applicable safety standards and regulations. Failure to follow the proper precautions can lead to accidents and injuries and to citations and fines. Manufacturers of personnel work platforms and telescopic handlers that are approved for lifting personnel provide users with the necessary additional safety precautions in operator's manuals and on warning decals. Use of this type of equipment is beyond the scope of this video, but be aware that before using a telescopic handler to lift personnel, Operators and work platform personnel must be familiar with the applicable safety precautions, such as the precautions concerning attachment of the work platform and the use of safety harnesses and the design specifications for work platforms that comply with OSHA regulations. Furthermore, users must be trained on the use of that specific equipment. When using attachments, refer to load charts applicable to the attachment. Only use attachments that are authorized by the forklift manufacturer. OSHA regulations prohibit use of attachments that are not approved. Some telescopic handlers are equipped with a quick attach feature, which allows attachments to be changed without using tools. Follow the instructions for installation and removal in the operator's manual. Visually inspect to be sure the attachment has been securely attached or detached. Loading a telescopic handler on a truck or trailer requires an experienced operator. Use ramps of adequate strength that provide a low loading angle. After the machine is loaded, lower the boom. 
apply the parking brake, and remove the key. Secure the machine in accordance with DOT regulations using at least four tie downs. Park the machine away from traffic on solid level ground. If it is not possible to park on level ground, park across the slope and chalk the tires. Place the transmission in neutral, apply the parking brake, lower the fork carriage, and turn off the engine. Never leave the machine unattended with the engine running. Beginning operators should practice the procedures covered in this video before operating in actual work sites. Good operating practices ensure maximum productivity and minimize accidents. Be a good operator. Think safety.